What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jenny and I'm That Props Girl. And obviously today we are not in my studio. We're actually out and about, we're shopping today for supplies that I need to make props for Frozen Junior. Now if you've been following my channel for a little while, you guys would know that I'm working on a production of Frozen Junior and it's in three weeks. And so I've got a lot to do in this short space of time. Um, but one of the really important tasks that I actually always need to do is I usually spend a day and shop for all the supplies because it really streamlines the process because there are a lot of little things that I need to make that can easily be bulked into like one big day of props making but if I don't have all the equipment and all the essentials that I need for that then it's not really possible so I'm taking you guys along with me today and then later on we'll probably do a little bit of a life update and fill you guys in on some stuff that's been going on so come along with me and let's go shopping be sure to hit the like button because it lets me know you want to see more content like this as well as consider hitting the subscribe button and bell so that you don't miss a single one of my uploads. I've done these videos before. I did it for Aladdin and I think I did it for High School Musical as well last year and uh, you guys seem to enjoy it. So here we are shopping for Frozen Junior. All right, I would, have, I would have loved to have vlogged um, with you guys in the store, but it was just a little bit loud. But I needed to get some quilting fabric, um, and I've never made a quilt before, but I'm making quilts to go on Anna and Elsa's beds. Um, so I will do a full video, and we're going to figure out how to make a quilt together. Actually, two quilts, so that's going to be really fun. Um, so now I'm about to go into Bunnings Warehouse, um, which is our hardware store here in Australia, and I'm getting um, some dowel and a few other things. Well, they were out of stock of one of the things I wanted, which is a bit annoying. I want like, I had these in Aladdin, like they're like curtain ends, like ends that you put on the end of a curtain rod. And they're like a little fleur de lis and they were completely out of them, but I did get the dowel that I need. Um, so that's a plus, but I'm gonna have to go to another Bunnings to um, sort that one out. So that's a little bit frustrating, but hence why I often need like a full day to do shopping because if something's not in one store, you have to go to another store and so on and so forth. Success. Okay, I've got the fleur de lis and they were flipping on clearance. Like, what is happening? They like are they going does no one want these? So anyways, I bought out the rest of the stock that was there because I need them for my spears and things. And what am I gonna do when they're not here anymore? Like they're so cheap and they're actually really good. So um I must hold on to all my spares and savor them. Still a few more things to get, but I think I'll do that another day. I need to go and get um, some fake flowers. And Bunnings do sell amazing fake flowers, you guys saw, but they're expensive. And when I'm working with kids, I don't like to give them like really good flowers because they tend to get a bit trashed. So I need to go and get some cheaper alternatives. So I'm just going to go to like a cheaper dollar store to get them. And a couple of other things. And then we'll probably head home and finish off the rest of this vlog and life update and do a bit of a haul. Alrighty, so it's obviously much later and the shopping is done. I had to stop filming because um, it was just a bit of a hectic day. I have an event that I'm going to this afternoon, um, well this evening actually, the trivia night that um, I kind of organised. Um, and it was just a bit of a stressful afternoon um, trying to balance shops, uh, prop shopping and that. So now I'm getting ready for to go to that. So I'll do my haul um, probably tomorrow and just you know insert that in for you guys sorry that today's video is 100% all over the place um, but uh, yeah it's just life is a little bit crazy 
right now. So um, basically, um, I am working full time. So I actually have two part time jobs and the workload of both of those jobs added up is equivalent to a full time job, if not more. Um, so I'm balancing that around um, my commitments for theatre and shows and all that sort of stuff. And as well as that, you guys know I have a puppy. Um, and, you know, there's a commitment there. I'm also married. I also run a household. Um, so there's just a lot going on in my life right now. I'm also in a show at the moment. Um, so I'm rehearsing that three nights a week. Um, in product I'm in a show of um, Shrek the musical. So it's just, it's just really, really crazy um, at the moment with everything just going on. So I, um, yeah, I have a lot <laughs> in my life. Um, that I'm dealing with. Um, so I guess I just wanted to like say that, I mean, I say in my intro that I, I, I mean, I usually say, I don't think I said it today, but I usually say that I, um, I'm all about helping non-professional, like theater makers, props designers, hobby crafters, and decorators. But it is true. Like I don't do this at a professional level. Like I would love to, but, um, like at the moment, that's not what I do. And um, so I work in um, non-professional theatre and um, absolutely love it. I do work like in an operating theatre, like in a like very large theatre, but I don't do props as my job there. Um, and um, so when you don't, when you don't do this full time, um, you have to have another source of income. And as it was like, as I said, I have two jobs. I have two jobs to make up the income that I need to support my hobby because theatre is like. <sighs> You say a hobby theater is like a lifestyle choice and for a lot of people it's a very expensive lifestyle choice because if you're a dancer like dance shoes are really expensive and so are leotards and tights and all that sort of stuff same with singing like singing lessons are expensive um and all that sort of stuff and like taking class and doing all those things like everything that we do for the love is super expensive so you need to have a job on the side to support that usually at least one income to support that and like i really love the song um from um, a chorus line uh, what I did for love because it really I think it encapsulates like what we actually do for the love of the theatre like those of us who don't work at a professional level um, it's it's like having for me it's like having three jobs having to manage all of this um, in and around general everyday life but I love it I really do but I don't have much time anymore um, and I really love I, like I love my channel I love filming for you guys and I hate missing uploads like it really it crushes me when I have to and um, I really didn't want to today which is why I kind of took you guys on a bit of like on that shopping trip and why I'm chatting with you guys now but I just wanted to like clue you in to say like I apologize in, adv in advance like if my content is a bit scatty at the moment um it's just because my life is so scatty and I've got so much to do so yeah it's it's just really crazy um like i'm personally fine like i really am i'm doing really well like um and it's just you know it's just a lot going on um and so yeah but as i said i'm going to a trivia night tonight and the theme is true colors so it's uh all about um being colorful and lots of stuff and letting your true colors shine um so um i'm going in green um i'm on the green table but green is also my favorite color so i should be having pops of green but, but yeah so as i said i've got frozen coming up and i have got a lot of things i need to make for that so i may um just do a general props making video i'm not quite sure how i'm gonna do that that content yet um but rest assured i will be showing you guys what i can um but i guess another thing that why i wanted to film today is just I think a lot of people think like it's very glamorous what I do and and so many people have said like oh my gosh I don't know how you find the time um, to do what you do and the truth is that it's a struggle it's a real struggle to find time um, when you're as committed to your passion project um, as you are I mean like theatre for me was always something I wanted to do it's a life choice for me and it's a non-negotiable like I plan my holidays around shows like it's if I go on a holiday not that I've been on one in a very long time but like I, I plan all those things around theatre um, because theatre for me is a full-time commitment um, but in order to support that 
I had to have jobs. So, but then when you have jobs, it takes you, it takes away the time that I would normally have to make props and all that sort of stuff. So it's just like, you know, money is great, but like, you know, it's a balance. And at the moment, the, the scales are tipped like this because work is taking up a lot more time. All right, so this is the completed makeup look. I am not a makeup artist by any stretch of the imagination. I know I'm not the best at makeup, but as I said, green, so going with that. Hey you guys, so it is now the next day. The event went really well. Uh, my table actually came in third. Um, so yes, yay for the green team. Uh, so we're just gonna be doing our, our little haul. Um, sorry, this video is so all over the place, but life is like that sometimes. So I got 10 sticks of the 16 millimeter dowel, which we will use to make our um, spears. And I'm totally going to do a video on that. So you guys will not get to miss out on that process. Um, so when I was in Bunnings, as you know, I got the Fleur de Lis and I bought the store out of them. It's really good because they come in two packs. So, and they're only about $4 each. Um, so, and these were reduced down to $1. So it was really, really cheap. Um, so these are really great. And I like to put them on the end of the spears, but as I said, I will show you guys later uh, what that is. You guys would have also seen that I picked up this random sponge. This is actually for an upcoming project um, that somebody DM'd me on Instagram. Um, and it was a project that I kind of thought of doing before, but never really had a reason to. And now I do. So a little later, maybe when Frozen's over, I'm going to be doing a project um, with this sponge. So stay tuned to see that. I don't want to give too much away. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. The sponges are amazing for making fake food. I will say it is fake food. That I am making. So I think I said when I was in Spotlight I have to make quilts for um, uh, Anna and Elsa's beds. Now I've never made a quilt um, so we're going to be figuring that one out together really soon but I got the fabric like for the colors so Elsa is very like we've got this lovely like swatch of blue here and then I've got this lovely like purple which is like patterned purples and blues which I thought was really nice and then I have this purple edging to go around the outside and then for Anna and I also have this like floral one as well, which could be used for either of the girls. So like this and this could like these daisies and roses could be used for um, Elsa. And then all these greens could be used for Anna. And Anna's is like the green with the green in this and yellow. And she's got green edging. And then I also got some quilting pins because, you know, I don't know if you can use regular sewing pins or not. And if you guys have made a quilt before, uh, hit me up in the comments because... I really need to learn. I'll be watching a lot of tutorials, but it's gonna be really fun to sort of like figure that one out together. I'm super excited. I've always wanted to make a quilt. And this is what I didn't share with you guys and they're all really tangled um, because it was a bit hard to film in this particular store, but I did get my fake flowers and I will show you guys, I'm thinking about doing a video um, which is like on generic props, like um, things you have in like a village and that sort of thing. So like if you're doing Beauty and the Beast or you're doing any scene that's got like villages and of course that happens in Arendelle in Frozen. Um, like what I do um, with fake flowers and all sort of stuff so it's not just like a stick of fake flowers because this can look really boring and also when you're working with kids sometimes you need to make things a little bit safe because like these have got wire in them and um, sometimes like they get caught in the wire strips and all sort of stuff. So um, I'm, I really want to do a video on villager props. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. I also got, and I've never seen these before. So I was super excited when I saw them. These like, I do not know what these flowers are. They're almost like cherry blossoms, but they're not. These are pink. And then I got these yellow ones as well. And I was thinking that these might be really nice um, because I, we have to have a maypole for um, Arendelle as well. I think it's in the first scene and I've got to dress it all and make it look all pretty. And I haven't got the ribbon for that yet because I, I don't quite know the dimensions of it. But I thought this would be really nice with some vines to go at the top. And I'll insert in a picture of the like professional production one. And I'm trying to mimic that. Um, and I just think that I just thought these would be really, really pretty. And then... I also got um, two lots of the wadding to go in um, the quilt. So, as I said, I may not have made a quilt before, but I, I know the basic gist. Uh, but that's about it. It seems like I actually didn't buy a lot. Um, it was such a big day. Um, but that's that's one of the things with prop shopping is that, like, it sometimes it takes, like, forever and you feel like you actually haven't accomplished anything. But if you don't have a day buying all the materials that you need, then you're not actually um, going to be able to progress in other areas. So yes, I know this video was completely all over the place. Um, I hope you guys, if you've stuck around this long, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. And I will see you guys next time. And stay tuned to see 
all of the props that I still have to make for Frozen and so on and so forth. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.